It's not Mars, but scientists say it's as close as it gets here on Earth. A NASA team is testing a new spacesuit on an Argentine base in Antarctica, which has extreme conditions similar to those found on the Red Planet. The freezing temperatures and strong winds here give the astronauts and the NDX-1 suit's designer, Pablo de Leon, a good idea of the kinds of adjustments the suit might need. This was the first time that we'll take it to such an extreme environment and also so isolated that if something went wrong, we just can go to the store and buy some parts. We have to bring everything with us, which gives you an idea of how complex it will be when you go to Mars and then you may have a problem, you may have maintenance or service to do. So it helps you to think in terms of how far you're going to be and how you have to design a suit that will be able to be repaired and maintained. The prototype is made of more than 350 materials, including tough honeycomb Kevlar and carbon fibers that reduce its weight without sacrificing strength. On the helmet is a built-in headset, which enables the astronauts to communicate with the outside world. NASA teamed up with De Leon, who heads the spacesuit laboratory at the University of North Dakota, to create the $100,000 suit. They chose this particular site for testing because the Morambio base offers easy access to permafrost, which has been spotted in images of Mars taken from NASA's Phoenix spacecraft. Mars is a kind of a mixture of many of the different environments of Earth. Deserts, temperatures like in Antarctica, winds like in Antarctica, uh, and, and, and many other things. So what we do is just try to take bits of different places and then incorporate all that into our testing. The only way that we'll know for sure that our systems can withstand the rigors of, Mar of Mars it will be going there. A manned mission to the most Earth-like planet in the solar system seems distant given NASA's tightening budget and preference for robotic space missions. But that isn't keeping De Leon down. While Morambio in Antarctica isn't quite the same as Mars, he remains hopeful that at least some part of his design will eventually make it to the Red Planet. Sharon Reich, Reuters.